All right, guys, this is one of my least favorite parts of electrochemistry, but some of you probably got to know it, so I'm going to tell you what to do. There's this thing called cell notation, which is how some chemists show how an electric cell is set up. The reason it's done this way is it's kind of a shorthand. Rather than having to write out all the reactions and stuff, it's just it's made of this with this and this with this, and you're done. It's just like a recipe card. But you're going to have to figure out how to create these recipe cards from your own reactions. So check it out. On the left of a double bar, you have everything that happens at the anode. That's where oxidation is happening. Everything on the right of the bar is going to be the cathode, where reduction is happening. Now, that double bar represents the salt bridge. On the left side, you have your electrode material. It's usually a solid, right? Like a platinum electrode or an iron electrode, some kind of metal that conducts electricity. And then after a single bar, you're going to have all the different aqueous species that you have in that beaker. This single bar actually represents a phase boundary, which means it's the difference between a solid phase and an aqueous phase. If for some reason you have a gas as well, you're going to need another single bar over here, and then you'll tell people what gases you have. But every time you have a different phase, solid, liquid, aqueous, gas, you're going to need to separate them with a single bar. It's just the notation. Same thing on the other side. You're going to have your aqueous species written close to the double bar, and you're going to separate all your phases, i.e. your solid electrode from your aqueous species, with single bars. So let's create some of these on our own, because we don't get a choice. Here's the first reaction. Fe and copper 2 plus makes Fe2 plus and copper. So what's my oxidation? Oxidation is a loss of electrons. So the Fe becoming Fe2 plus lost two electrons, which means that the anode starts with iron solid and also includes Fe2 plus ions in solution. It's the electrode material, solid, aqueous species, written here. If you're constant, it's good form to write in the concentration of whatever your aqueous species are. Uh, I didn't tell you what they were, so let's just assume they're one mole per liter. Salt bridge. The copper goes from two plus to copper solid. It's gaining electrons. It's part of the cathode where the reduction is happening. I've got copper two plus ions right here. Uh, I didn't tell you what concentration they were, so let's assume they're one mole per liter. Single bar, and I have copper solid as my electrode material. There you go. There's your cell notation for this electric cell. Let's do it again for this one. We've got zinc and iron 3 reacting to become zinc 2 plus and iron 2 plus. Ooh, interesting. My zinc is going from char uh, oxidation state 0 to 2 plus. It's losing electrons or being oxidized. So my anode is probably solid zinc. And I also have some zinc 2 plus in solution. Oh, huh, one mole per liter, I'm assuming. Double bar. Now my aqueous species in the reduction, that's Fe3+, plus, gaining electron to become Fe2+, plus, are Fe3+, plus, uh, sure, one mole per liter, and Fe2+, plus, which is also one mole per liter. Now I have two aqueous species on the right here. I separated them with a comma. That's the way it's done. Single bar, but I don't know what my electrode is on the iron side of this cell. It didn't say. Usually when you have two aqueous species reacting in solution, we have a few different electrodes that we can use. 
One common one is platinum. The problem with platinum is it's really expensive. Sometimes you use graphite or copper solid. You can use any non-reactive conducting material. Let's assume it's platinum here. So this is the cell notation for this cell. And now I have one that's probably a little complicated. Here I've got tin 2 plus reacting with permanganate in an acidic solution to produce tin 4 plus and manganese 2 plus. I've written out the half reactions for you so you don't have to panic. We've got tin 2 plus becoming tin 4 plus and that gives off two electrons. Permanganate reacts with eight protons and five electrons to become manganese 2 plus and four waters. So what's happening here? Well, actually, uh, I'm going to tell you that it happens as written. If you weren't exactly sure if this reaction happens forward or backwards, you'd have to look up both these reactions in a table of cell potentials, figure out E cell, and make sure that it's, the E cell is positive when it's written this way. But let's just assume it happens as written here. So what's happening? We've got tin losing two electrons. It's splitting up into SN4 plus and two electrons. Tin's losing two electrons, which means it's the anode, which means it goes first. But we have two aqueous species here. We don't know what the solid involved is. Let's assume it's uh, graphite this time. Graphite electrode. Graphite, by the way, is solid carbon, just FYI. Can you see what I'm writing there? Yes, you can. We've got SN2 plus in solution on one side. Let's assume it's one mole per liter. We've got SN4 plus on that side, aqueous, and let's assume it's one mole per liter. That's it for the anode reaction. It's double bar. On the cathode side, the side that's gaining electrons, see permanganate gains, well, permanganate and eight protons together gain five electrons. We have permanganate in solution. Let's assume it's one mole per liter. We have protons in solution. That's H plus. Let's assume it's, uh, I'm gonna give it 0 0.01 moles per liter. I don't want that. I don't want this solution to be that acidic. We've got MN2 plus in solution. Uh, let's assume it's one mole per liter. And we have water, but water is what makes it aqueous, so we're not going to write that in here. Electrons we don't write in here because we assume that they're being swapped anyways through the wire. Single bar, and there were no solids in this reaction, so that means we need another electrode. Uh, let's use graphite there as well. So this is the cell notation for this reaction here. All right, guys, as a little summary, electrode material, aqueous species, double bar for salt bridge, aqueous species electrode, anode on the left, cathode on the right, separate all your different aqueous species with commas. If you're not given an electrode, make it platinum or graphite or something. And if you have a third phase, which I didn't show you an example of, you're just gonna add another single bar in here and then list all your gases as well. Hey, best of luck making your own cell notations.